Hey guys, and welcome to place training day one. We are a little over 11 weeks old. I'm a little late on getting her started on this, and that is because of my own personal um, reasons. I had some things going on that I was not able to properly train her with this, so I decided to wait until I could set everybody up for success with it. So when you're place training, it's a good idea when you start off to use an elevated bed that the dog has not ever gotten off of. Ah, ah. Good girl. And I don't want her to think that getting on and off of this bed is an option. So this bed has not been used with her. It is put up when she's running around the house so she can't just jump on it and jump off of it. This is just for place training. Once she has the idea of place training, I will move to using other beds and things. But to get the idea, it's easier on the puppy if you use one specific bed. Um, elevated beds are nice because it's a very evident, like it's very obvious to the puppy she's on the bed or she's off the bed. If you use a bed that's flat on the floor, um, the puppy can lay there and have a foot off the bed and not even realize it because it's not that drop there's not that um, defined edge there so I like to use an elevated bed I set her up for success with this first session the same way I set her up with crate training so her belly is full she just had breakfast her bladder is empty and she's tired she's had her morning romp and then she has eaten breakfast and she's in the habit of being still calm and quiet after breakfast. That's something very important to do with these um, large chested dogs so they don't get bloat. So she's in the habit of resting after she eats, so I'm kind of cheating in a way, but I'm setting her up for success in that way. So for her first lesson, we're gonna make sure she does it during a natural nap time. And that little correction I gave her just a minute ago, that's the only correction I've given her this whole time. I put her on the bed, she laid down. Now we're starting to wake up a little bit and realize there might be some, you know, I might want to move off of this. There might be a way I can get off of this. So this is where it's kind of explained to her for the first time. Nope, I want you. Ah, 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 ah. No. I want you to stay on the bed. And she's like, whoa, what was that? That doesn't make any sense. I've never had to do this before. So she's just gonna play with herself, that's fine. This, she's a puppy that is perfectly okay for her to mess around, bite her tail, bite her feet. Um, as long as she is on the bed and not getting off the bed, I'm okay with that. So as I'm waiting for her to kind of try again, I want her to really understand that I want her to stay there, so I actually am hoping that she will try to step off again so I can send that message. I'm being very gentle, I'm not, when I pick her up and put her back on, I do scruff her to let her know, like, no, that's not um, appropriate, but I'm not squeezing her to the point where she's crying, I'm not, it's exactly what her mom does with her um, when she gets into trouble with her mom. It's dog language, it's how they understand. So, while well, she's kind of chewing on the bed and messing around, um, if she gets too into chewing this bed, I will correct that because I don't want it to form into a habit of, when I'm bored, I can chew on, no matter what it is. Um, now, you'll notice I don't have any toys or chewies up there for her, and that is because I want her to realize it is okay to be calm and not be doing chewing and it's okay to just self-soothe and be still. So that's what I'm kind of trying to teach here. Um, some reasons you would want to place train. Place train is really, really nice to have. If my dogs go out and they get muddy and they come in the house and I've got multiple dogs, it's really nice to be able to put them on a bed and know that they will stay there rather than running all over the house. Um, until I can get to them to clean them up. So when you've got four or five big dogs, put them all on place and then get to them one at a time. 
Now, another reason place training is nice is when you are teaching like people coming to the door, um, when you are eating a meal, when you have guests over, it's nice to be able to send the dog and put it on place so that it gives the, the guest or yourself that space so that the dog's not right up in your bubble, um, but can still be in the room with you and can still be a part of your life just at a distance that is not going to maybe scare a guest or, you know, get the dog into trouble. And when you are traveling, so go camping, um, you're going, staying at an Airbnb or a hotel, place training is nice because you can put your dog on place and know that they are not going to get into trouble, that they are in a safe, comfortable place that um, you don't have to worry about, oh, they're running around. If you're camping where there are snakes and stuff, the bed is elevated so they aren't on the ground. And um, it's nice to be able to just put the dog up without having to tie them up and have a nice relaxing time around the fire or, um, you know, if you're staying at a hotel or something, put the dog on place and you know that the dog is not going to get into mischief if you've done your training right overnight. So here she's kind of just taking it all in. She's a very, very smart puppy, and she's a very eager to please puppy. So it's not hard to teach her new things. She's just looking at it. This is, it's an elevated bed, so she's never seen the room from this height. I've held her in the room, I've carried her in, but she's never just sat four inches higher than what she's used to and seen the 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 room it takes a whole different um it looks totally different if you get down on your dog's level and look around your kitchen it's going to look way different than when you walk in standing up so here she's just like okay this is what we're doing she's kind of accepting it so this session i'm not going to go terribly long she's really doing well she's tried to get off a couple times and i've told her no and she's like okay this is where you want me this is where I'll be. She's probably going to test it a little bit more, but she's not She's not testing it too terribly. And again, that is because I set her up for success with this lesson. She's tired, she's full, and she's empty bladder. So she's not, she doesn't have any immediate needs other than a nap, which is going to um, help her form the habit of being calm and quiet on this bed. You can see she's actually going to fall asleep here, which is exactly what I want. So I'll probably let her fall asleep and then um, go ahead and move her off the bed. I will pick her up to take her off the bed. At the end of the lesson, I will pick her up and put her on the bed. I won't let her walk onto the bed or walk off of the bed for the first um, little while. She's falling asleep. Very good puppy. Alright guys, so we are on day two of place training. And this is actually her third place lesson. I did two lessons yesterday. Um, both of them over a natural nap time. This is again over a natural nap time. She just had breakfast and we're going to take a little nap on our place. So we'll see here. Um, she's got a little bit of a distraction. She's got a leash on the floor over there. And that would be a lot of fun to play with. So she's never had that just on the floor, <laughs> her level where she could just go play with it. So we're going to see how she does. Um, I picked her up. I placed her on the place. And when I did, I told her place. And she's settled in. She's a very, very soft puppy. Um, so she's only had a couple times where she tried to step off the bed and I just put her back on. And again, her natural nap time, so she is, she's tired. She just had breakfast, so full belly, empty bladder, and tired. Setting her up for success on this to develop the habit of when we're on the place, we're calm, quiet, and kind of going to get in the habit of taking a nap while she's on here.
Now you can see she's a little fidgety. That's normal. That's she's still baby. Very much still a baby. Right, keep. Yeah. So I'll probably just take some video, but I'll end up fast forwarding it so that you guys don't have to watch the whole entire thing. Now you can see right there. Ah, good girl. That was my bad. She. I trusted her more than what I should have right there, and she got the better of me, but she's back on the bed. She'll probably try again here. Ideally, I would have caught her as soon as she got those feet down, but I'm not moving as quick as I usually do. I hurt my legs, so I'm a little bit slower than I usually am, um, but I do have this room gated off so she didn't get very far ah, ah. good girl very good so right there the other dogs are in the other room she can see them and hear them and they are wrestling and she wanted to get in on that but again very very soft puppy Hey guys, we are day three, lesson four, on place training, and Little Miss Keepers had a little bit of a different morning. We got up earlier than normal, she played really hard, slept for a little bit, I woke her up and did her breakfast and training lesson, she went out, went potty, we did a little leash work outside, I wasn't expecting to, but the opportunity presented itself, and so we did a little bit of leash work out there, and then... She came in and she's kind of just playing a little bit, nothing crazy, but definitely more awake than what I, she was last time I put her on the place, so I decided to go ahead and pop her on here while I made myself some breakfast. So she's hanging out. You can see she had a, a another dog in here with her, so another distraction. She's doing really good. Um, this little dog is her play partner, um, so she's doing really well, just kind of staying on the bed even though the little one's up and off. They're buddies. But you can see now she's like, oh, let's play. So I think she's got the idea of once when I put her on the bed, she wants to I want her to stay on the bed. I think she understands that. But what we will build on next is when I put you on the bed, you stay on the bed even if I'm not paying attention or not in the other room. So the la the first you know few sessions, I, she's got 100% of my attention. I will probably do another lesson today while I have a phone call, just because then I'm you know distracted and not completely paying attention. Again, I'll set her up for success by making sure she's tired before I put her on there. But then we're gonna start building on putting her on here when she's not tired putting her on here in different locations with more distractions and I will slowly build on me being in here. So my next step for that would be just simply to walk into the living room. I can still see her and walk back um, without her following me. So I think she'll do pretty good. She might try to get off here once or twice. I really don't think she will, but she might. Um, but I think she'll settle in and take a nap. I know she's ready for a nap, so. Alright guys, we've got Miss Keeper here, and I'm sorry about the lighting. I know it's a little off. But I think we are on day four. Um, place training number seven, I believe. And it's actually very late in the evening. Um, we did not do a place training this morning. We had a big walk, they had supper, and then I put her on her bed because I wanted her to be calm and still. She had a lot of distractions with the other dogs. You can see Promise is curled up with her. 
Um, but the other dogs kept trying to get her to play and she stayed on the bed. There was only a couple times where I had to do a verbal correction and that was all it took. So um, I just wanted to show you guys that we are still working on it in the kitchen. Um, our next session will probably be in a different room and um, practicing me walking out of the room. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will continue to show her place training progress, but I wanted to put these few days together in a video so you guys could see her progress and see how well she's doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed and we will catch you in the next one. Have a golden day.